we're going to the magical kingdom. Thanks for waving, because this boat runs that way. from the run this is the first time back in the park in two and a half years I wasn't feeling emotional but kind of feeling it again <laughs> oh jeez it's building already it's building already never ever thought I'd ever get to see the Christmas tree it's so pretty Oh, even the music, just the sights, the sounds of it. So there she is, it's so pretty. When I first saw the colours of the castle, the new 50th makeover, I really didn't like it because I went widely messed with it, but it is beautiful. Good morning guys, welcome to another vlog. Guess what? Guess where we are this morning? We are at Magic Kingdom this morning. We are here from rope drop to fireworks. That's our intention for the day and that's what we're going to do. No matter how tired we are, I really don't care because we are staying here for as long as we possibly can. Um, I am so excited about this. I'm going to work with you with the new Genie Plus system and see how we get on. So I logged on at 7 o'clock this morning and I was able to get a Genie Plus reservation for Big Thunder Mountain at 25 past 10. Apart from that, I don't know how it works. I don't know how the new app works, so I'm going to go with it and show you as we go along the way. It's the castle! It's Cinderella Castle. How exciting is this this morning? Let's... It's almost about 10 to 9 to the park opens. Good morning, everyone! In just 10 minutes, all of the lands of the Magic Kingdom will be opening. We encourage you to make your way to Cinderella Castle for a very special presentation. Thank you. I mean, that was perfect timing there. Yeah, it's 10 minutes till park opens, as the guy just said. Now let's watch the um, opening show and figure out which right we're going first. Do we go to Space Mountain or do we head to Seven Dwarfs? Let's go and find out. First round of the trip, we're heading to Space Mountain. Some serious power walking going on. driving experience. Apologies Emily for telling you off last year or well, last time we came. <laughs> this is the same. Tron is looking fabulous though. Oh, this is so hard. Uh. <laughs> oh, they're going to put the camera down for the minute. Doing it one handed. Shorter route, but it was still good fun. It's very stressful. 
Hard time with driving skills. Good, aren't they? I seem to have lost David though. I don't know where he's gone. Caution, you're approaching the... The castle looks so pretty from every single angle. It's gorgeous. Just wandering back through the hub. Uh, Tomorrowland Speedway was cool. It's very old and rickety. We need to take up some um, electric vehicles on that ride, I think. But it's still good fun. Teslas. Yeah, David thinks we need some Teslas. We're gonna go and find some food now because we are absolutely starving. I record everything I do because I re I Yeah, you just get the she just takes the highlights. I rewatch everything I do now. I do as well. So we went with a Mickey waffle with strawberries and cream. That's mine, what you having? We decided to share because today is gonna to be about snacks. I think it's plenty big enough and then we're gonna go and ride Big Thunder. Just taking in the sights and sounds of Frontierland. David? I ran through here. Did you really? Yeah. And they were up there. And then I ran through here. The country bears are waving in and out to play. I did. I ran through here just to let you know. I love this area of the park. I think it's probably my favourite bit. The theme is just phenomenal, it's exceptional, I just love it. Big thumbs up for the Mickey Waffles, they were amazing. Now to decide what snack to have next. After Big Thumbs Up of course. Ooh, I think I can see my next snack. David might not agree with me though, but I think it's gonna to have to be a Mickey pretzel. The mountain's closed, David. Yeah. It's closed for a bit of refurb right now. So that is one water. That is one water ride that you will actually get me on because I absolutely love it. I do Splash Mountain. Probably with a poncho, but I'll still do Splash Mountain. Now we're gonna to go and try and use our um, Genie Plus return time or however it works. So we're just gonna go there now. Big queue for Big Thunder this morning, 50 minute wait time. Let's go and get into our lightning lane. system and the lightning lane reservation so once we're finished on uh, Big Thunder they then opened up other ones for us to book another one we've just booked the Barnstormer um, for about 10 minutes time and then we're gonna go ahead over there and see what else we can get on probably go on Dumbo as well um, and then go from there really 
just playing it by ear today just trying to figure it out for when we come back in July with the kids and see if it's worth getting it even for maybe one day in each park that's an option we've also just met the Reeves family which was lovely to chat to them um, David's going to insert the picture now yeah it was lovely chatting to those guys they're obviously here for two weeks so go, go check out their channel we'll link their channel below um, if you haven't seen them already I think most of you who follow us at least will know who the Reeves family are so let's head over to the Barnstormer, did we book? Yeah. Go on, we're gonna head over to the Barnstormer um, and go up to that area of the park. It's really bizarre around here with Splash not being open. I am proper gutted though. I know I don't do water rides. Can I do this one? So we've been there a couple of times for breakfast. Not a huge fan of it. I like the atmosphere and the theming, but the quality of the food that we've had in the past has been rubbish. Um, the kids and David, I don't think. We'll go back to it. We gave it a go twice. It's very overpriced. And the food is cold by the time it comes to you. Yeah, Beauty and the Beast. But it's a pretty area and a beautiful restaurant. Gaston's Tavern for the best cinnamon roll or cinnamon bun, sorry, not roll. Heading into Storybook Circus for our Barnstormer reservation, and then we're going to try and probably go on Dumbo, maybe this 20 minute wait. But we're definitely going in there. This is cosy. It's front row of Goofy. Woo I think we're the only people on this ride without kids. This is an uncomfy ride. Oh, it's so uncomfy. It's the back, isn't it? what we need to pick up before we leave. The children want some candy. And who's to den deny them when we're not here, when they're not with us? I definitely have to pick them up some candy. Cooling towels are actually really, really worth it. We've got one on previous trips and they are fabulous. Actually, I got handed one for the marathon, which was well worth it. Check it how much they are. These ones are $16.90. No, no doubt, I'm sure you can get one on eBay or Amazon that's much, much cheaper. There's some cute ears over here. These holiday ears are very cute. I do like 
Disney without going on Dumbo. Okay, Dumbo. Let's get the show on the road. I mean, I, I travel with Dumbo all the time, but rude. Rude. Up she goes. Step all the way in and make room for everyone. And consider this dismaying observation. This chamber has no windows and no doors. <laughs> of course, there's always my way. Mansion and obviously watch the cavalcade come through. Haunted Mansion wait time it was advertised at 35 minutes. It was pretty much a walk on. We really barely waited in the queue at all. Um, I love that ride. It's very old, but it's very cool. We're we heading to Pecos Bills just for something a bit different for me. Um, I think I'm probably going to end up with a salad bowl. <laughs> we did mobile pick up at Cosmic Rays Cafe. I've got a salad with chicken strips, David's got a chicken burger, and I've got a sweet iced tea, not a chicken burger, a cheeseburger. <laughs> it's like, it's I've got a sweet got iced tea. So we've just finished lunch at Cosmic Ray's Starlight Cafe. It's okay, it's just basic food, not too bad. Um, you do get what you get, get what you get. We've got two drinks, um, two mate, two entrees as it's called for um, $32 roughly. So. The two of us, it's not too bad, but a family of four, you're talking $60 to eat at the park, and that's pretty standard as you're going around. Sorry, I've not got my glasses on, I can't see an absolute thing. I'm going to head up to the shop now. Our next um, Genie Lightning Lane is quarter past four, and that was Winnie the Pooh. A lot of the good stuff has gone already. I think we're going to have to queue up to go on Big Thunder Mail. not Big Thunder I'm sorry, uh, Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. Um, and the Jungle Cruise. I think that there's no more lightning lanes left for them. So let's go to the shop now to see if we can find David a hat. So we're just doing a bit of shopping and we have come in the best shop ever. David might regret bringing me in here. There's 
so much of the only thing that they have. This is just awesome. Again, in here, we've got the Marvel bags. Oh, look, they've got this as well. We've got the Pandora stuff. So the fifty dollars for the purses, and uh, between seventy-five and eighty dollars for the handbags. Ooh, now this is the collection that I really love. If they did it in a smaller purse, I would definitely be buying it. But this Dooney and Burke is a hundred and fifty-eight dollars. David's very fortunate that I don't want a purse that size. But it's so pretty. And then this one is $278. Just like that, you hear some music again. And the cavalcade appears. It looks like the royal, a royal parade with all the princesses. It certainly sounds very regal. Heading back into Eventoland, we're going to go on the Jungle Cruise. It's about a 65 minute wait, but we want to do it. I like the socks. It's busy here in Eventoland. Wow, that's a big queue. I've never been in the sandbar queue before on a jungle cruise. We've always had a fast pass. Let's see how far we can go. If you didn't 
in like that one, it's going to be a long 12 minutes. They're only going to get worse. For today, go ahead and rent your own canoe for your own adventure from Boats, Baits, and Bites. But it doesn't look like anyone's selling canoes today. I mean, I can't see anyone. Canoe. Coming up ahead, we have the African elephant. And did you know the elephants have the best memory in the entire world? I wish I had memory like that. Bless you. And on this bank, we have the African elephant. Hey, did you know the elephants have the best memory in the entire world? I wish I had memory like that. And coming up ahead, we have a very special guest from the new Jungle Cruise movie. Please welcome The Rock. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is A-Rock. Hey, it's still one of our bolder attractions. Don't take it for granted. Oh, wow. Look at all the animals over here. Yeah, we have some long-necked cheetahs. Some black and white striped horses, and those are the guys that trampled Mufasa. Oh, look at this! Looks like that pride of lions is taking care of that sleeping zebra. Oh, that zebra looks dead. He looks not to argue with the rhino, because they always get their point across. And if they don't get it now, they'll get it in the end. The jungle cruise that skipper was fantastic she was so good we got stuck going into the dock for a couple of minutes and she just ad-libbed i probably got a um store of jokes to hand but she was really funny she was um, probably one of the best skippers i've had and they even included a new joke about the rock um yeah so it was a really good um journey on the jungle cruise it advertised a 65 minute wait probably waited about 40 minutes to 45 minutes it's not too bad Taking a ride on the people mover. Has to be done. It's about a ten minute wait. Just up ahead you can see the construction for Tron. It's looking amazing. Not quite sure when that's supposed to be ready yet though. But it looks fantastic. Look at that amazing track. So it's suddenly gone dark. After we got off the people mover we nipped onto Space Mountain which was an advertised 20 minute wait. It was probably about 30 and it was pitch black by the time we came out. We've just dipped to Starbucks and got a coffee. We were going to go to Joffrey's, but the queue was massive and not moving. We're now just sat on Main Street um, waiting for the fireworks to start. So we've probably got about 50 minutes to wait, to be honest. But it is getting very busy down here with the Hulpen on Main Street. Um, if you have a look. Something here. Slightly obscured view of the castle, but we will stand up when it comes to the fireworks. Not sure, I don't think I'm going to film for this one. I think I just want to watch it properly for the first time um, and just experience it. Maybe film the next one when we come back in July, but we'll just see. 
I think experiences like this need to be experienced rather than through a lens. I might take the other picture, I might film that tiny bit at the start, but apart from that, I've already put the camera away. So I'm enjoying my coffee now and sit on Main Street. just finished watching Enchantment. It was absolutely brilliant to be honest. It brought a tear to my eye. So what more can I say? Um, I filmed a t very, very like 30 seconds of it and that was about it. Obviously I filmed Tinkerbell, um, but Disney's Enchantment gets a thumbs up from me. Um, if anything that evokes emotion, then yeah, it's really good. Obviously we watched it from the poly the first time, didn't get the same feel. I recommend anybody to watch it in person before you judge it. Don't watch the vlogs, don't watch other people's opinions of it. Just make your own opinion up when you come here on on your own trips. That's all I can say. So we have finished our day here at Magic Kingdom and it has been awesome. Rope drops to fireworks, big thumbs up from us. Sad to be leaving. We only had one day here at Disney, but we're coming back in six months with the kids and crazy granddad. This trip was never about Disney really, it was just about the run for us. Um, plus it was a bit of a budget trip so we couldn't afford the full seven days park tickets it just wasn't worth it anyway enough waffling it's been an awesome day hope you've enjoyed this vlog don't forget to give us a big thumbs up leave any comments down below um, have you seen enchantment what did you think of it don't forget to subscribe and ding that bell for notifications and we'll see you again tomorrow bye